Hello and welcome everyone to the Polity Primer series of Drishti IAS. My name is Pragya. To casinos, betting and gambling. Most of these activities are fantasy sports for everyone. But are they legal in India? We will be, uh, we'll be trying to find an answer to, our, to this question in our today's session. The title of our today's session is Online Games of Chance versus Games of Skill. In this discussion, we will be studying about what are games of chance. We will also be studying about what are games of skill. We will also draw a distinction between games of chance and games of skills. We will also see the legal provisions in this regard. And we will also analyze the position of fantasy games in India. And in the end, we will see a practice question for your prelims examination and a practice question for your mains examination. Now, let us proceed to understand the background of our today's topic. The Supreme Court of India has recently stayed an order by the Karnataka High Court in which the Karnataka High Court had observed that online games like uh, Rummy etc. are not betting or gambling for the purposes of GST. So, what does this stay indicate? It indicates that the online games, skill games also will be considered at par with online gambling for the purposes of taxation. So, with this background, let us understand what is game of chance, what is game of skill and a distinction between game of chance versus game of skills. So, if we talk about game of chance, it is predominantly dependent on luck. What do we mean by this? That the player has absolutely no control over its outcome. And in games of chance, the usage of skill is present, but a higher level of chance determines its success. So, if we talk about the Indian legal framework regarding game of chance. So, in Indian legal framework, a game reliant on largely on luck is considered as a game of chance. And game of chance is considered to be gambling as per section 12 of the Public Gambling Act of 1857. So, what is game of skill then? If we talk about the game of skill. It is completely dependent on the player's own skill. So, it is not dependent on luck. It is purely dependent on the skill of the player. And it is excluded from the purview of gambling as well as uh, under the Public Gambling Act and as well as by the court's judgment. So, if we talk about the examples of game of skills, they can be chess, polo, horse racing, etc. And by a judgment of the Supreme Court, the Supreme Court has held that Rummy is a game of skill and not a game of chance. So, kindly remember this point. So, the Supreme Court of India has clarified that the term mere skill, specifying that the games in which success relies on skill than on chance will not be classified as gambling. This is very important because the gambling laws in India are highly debatable these days. So, as per this judgment of Supreme Court, the games of skill cannot be considered to be gambling, but will be recognized as games of skill. So, there is a difference between gambling and game of skill. Game of skill you are playing uh, by your own skill. For example, if you play chess, you are using your own mind in that, right? But if you talk about the game of chance, you are completely dependent on luck. Uh, some of the examples of game of chances are lotteries, bingos rollets etc. So, there is a clear cut difference between game of chance and game of skills in the Indian legal framework. So, if we talk about what distinguishes a game of chance from a game of skill. So, in game of chance, it is uh, that that no prior knowledge and experience is required. He, anyone can play a game of chance. That is why people are so much addicted to online gaming because it requires no prior skill and knowledge. But if we talk about games of skill, it requires a prior knowledge and experience. So, you cannot uh, just say to a fresher player that go and play chess with a uh, grandmaster. It requires a basic skill. If you say that uh, go and play poker with a uh, master or with a uh, person who has attained expertise in it, it requires a experience and a knowledge. Luck is the predominant factor in the case of game of chance, but skill has to be the predominant factor in the game of skill. Then game of chance is considered to be gambling as I was explaining this before also. 
and game of skill is not gambling as per the decision of the supreme court as it as it involves a particular amount of skill in it so the question whether a game is a game of chance or game of skill is highly an objectable question it depends on the facts and circumstances of the case if we talk about the test which is used by the indian courts to determine whether a game is a game of chance game of chance or game of skill so this test is known as the predom test of predominance it is borrowed from the us uh, courts and it states that whenever we are analyzing the question that whether a game has to be categorized as a game of skill or game of chance then the court will analyze what quality is predominant in that game so as per this test of the predominance a game of skill is identified by a degree of predominance of skill rather than the degree of chance so this is what the test is explaining that the game of chance is purely dependent on luck it has no predominance of degree of skill degree of skill but if we talk about the game of skill here it is predominantly dependent on the degree of skill of the player so this is the test that is known as the dominance test or the test of predominance used by the indian courts to determine whether a particular game is a game of chance or game of skill now let us understand the legal provisions in this regard so if we talk about the legal provisions your first law is the public gambling act of 1867 this is a very old law in india for gambling almost around 150 years old law and it states that you cannot engage in public gambling or anywhere any space where public gambling is uh, being practiced and you cannot also be a, in charge of a public gambling house rather working in a public gambling house is also prohibited by this act then gambling in india is a state subject what do we mean by that gambling in india is a state subject this means that the states are fully empowered to make laws on the subject of gambling in india under the central goods and services act so the cgst act 2017 games of chance such as lottery betting and gambling fall under the category of actionable claims as per entry 6 of schedule 3 of the cgst act so what do we mean by this term actionable claim that means they are considered to be goods actionable claim is a claim which you can uh, enforce in the court so this gives you a cause of action to approach to the courts if there is a violation of your cause of the action and they are treated as actionable claims or goods under entry 3 of uh, schedule 3 of the cgst act that means they can be taxed but for the purposes of the cgst act games of skill are generally considered to be outside the ambit of lottery betting or gambling why because they they are dependent on your skill right you cannot consider the, uh, games of skill that you are winning them by chance you definitely have a control over the outcome if you are playing playing fairly and if you are using your own skill to play and that is why they attract lower taxes typically 18% which applies to most of the services but if we talk about the games of chance recently the parliament has decided to tax online gaming platforms at 28% which means for whatever deposit full deposits you are making to any online gaming platform or casinos or horse racing racing clubs you will have to pay 28% gst on that on the other hand section 30 of the indian contract act is also there which states that agreements by way of wager are void because and it excludes from its purview the concept of horse racing or prize lottery etc but agreements by way of wager are void under section 30 of our indian contract act but the main problem here is 
that these acts or these legislations such as the public gambling act or the indian contract act they do not provide a definite definition to these terms such as what is lottery what is gambling and what is fantasy sports so these definitions are not provided and that is why if it is often argued that india instead of banning them completely needs a robust regulation to regulate this playing of online games of skill so that they are not considered to be gambling and gambling is also prohibited by most of the states in india apart from the states of goa sikkim and daman and daman and diu goa as you all know is very famous for casinos it is like a dream land for most of the people so in these states the gambling is not uh, considered to be illegal but most of the states in india prohibit gambling by and they have enacted specific legislations to prohibit gambling now let us understand the position of fantasy sports in india so the world of fantasy sports in india came in 2008 when the indian premium league was started so and this led to the establishment of dream 11 you might have heard the uh, advertisement of the dream 11 dream 11 pe team bano aur khub paise kamao if i am correct so this is a catchy line of the dream 11's advertisement so if we talk about the position of fantasy games in india so previously the fantasy sports in india were there was a question mark whether they are a game of skill or a game of chance various high courts had different opinions some high courts consider to be the, them to be games of skill and some high courts considered them to be games of chance but as per the recent uh, decision of the supreme court and in which it has upheld the judgment of the punjab and haryana high court the court stated that the fantasy sports comes under the ambit of skill and not chance why the court is stating that because predominantly you are using your skill if you are playing playing online ludo though there are algorithms that predict the outcome of the game but still you are using your skill you are using your skill to play cricket online you are using your skill to change, you know choose the team on dream 11 or you are using your skill to play rummy online and rummy is a skill based game and that is why the court has held that they are games of skill though predicted outcome can be predicted but still they involve skill in them and although chance plays an important role in fantasy games at the same time skills are also required to determine the strategies which will help the player win the game so this is what i was explaining that you are applying your own skill set of developing a strategy if you talk about dream 11 you are uh, applying your own strategy to create a team and that is why the court has said that okay these games involve a certain basic amount of skill as well you cannot uh, completely categorize them as games of chance so if we talk about online betting in india online betting in india so recently you might have heard in the news that paytm zomato swiggy all are receiving legal notices from the google play store categorizing the zomato premier league or swiggy premier league or sometimes pay uh, tem pay team bano and something like that so all of these is classified as gambling as per the terms and conditions of the google play store so that is why they the google play store has sent a legal notice to all of these firms asking them to take down their misleading advertisements especially at the time of the premier of indian premier league so uh, google play stores completely bar engaging in any public activity that uh, encourages gambling because what happens is in zomato pay premier league you just select one team that okay as per my prediction this team is going to win if uh, the team is going to win you will uh, you, you will be awarded by a reward and you can use that coupon code to order food on zomato so what is this this is completely a game of chance this is completely your luck that is coming into picture while you select the make the prediction that which team is going to win whether it is mumbai indians or chennai super kings so this is what used to happen in the zomato premier league and this kind of online betting is prohibited as per the 
terms and conditions of the uh, Google Play Store. So, if we talk about the regulation of fantasy sports in India, then there is this body known as FIFS. So, there is this body known as FIFS or Federation of the uh, Fantasy Sports of India. So, this body is solely uh, tasked with regulation of the fantasy sports in India and this body works independently of the government. So, as I was discussing before also that there is no concrete law or no concrete regulation in India which th talks about regulating these online uh, sports game or the e-sports game which is currently required a bill is currently pending in this regard but this the the law bill it is in bill stage only nothing concrete has come out of that bill so a bill is pending in this regard and many a times the law commission has also suggested that instead of completely banning online gaming in india why don't you regulate it but the government is yet to act on such recommendations so, with this we come to a conclusion of today's discussion. We have seen what are games of chance. We have also seen what are, seen what are games of skill. We have also analyzed the legal position in India and how are they regulated. We have also seen the position of fantasy sports in India. And if we talk about countries such as UK and China. UK and China. In UK and China, online gambling is legal. The government, what it does is, it imposes a heavy tax on that and then uses the tax for economic development. So, uh, many experts are argue that instead of completely banning the online gaming sector in India, India should also protect, uh, follow the protective measure rather than the prohibitory measure. India should also tax these uh, online gaming platforms heavily and use it for the taxes for economic development. So, kindly let me know in the comment box below whether you are in favor of completely banning these online games because many people are addicted to their smart, smartphones playing online games all of the day or, or you want to the government to follow a protective strat strategy. So, rather than prohibiting them, the government should regulate them. Kindly let me know in the comment box below. Now, let us see a practice question for your prelims examination. So, the question is consider the following statements. Statement number 1 is GST council is a statutory body. Statement number 2 is 28% GST will now be imposed on online gaming sector in India. Statement number 3 is in India both game of chance and skill are illegal. Which of the following statements given above is are true? Your options are option A is one only. Option B is 1 and 2 only, option C is 2 and 3 only and option D is 1, 2 and 3. That means all of these statements are correct. So, kindly drop your answer in the comment box below. Now, let us analyze a practice question for your mains examination. So, the question is, India needs a robust regulatory framework to explore the potential of its online gaming sector. Comment. So, to attempt this mains answer writing, you can introdu introduce the topic as what are games of skill versus games of chance, how is the online gaming industry flourishing in India and you will also in, uh, write about the new GST percentage that has been introduced to uh, regulate the online gaming sector in India. You will also talk about what are the pros and cons of uh, you know prohibiting and regulating the online gaming sector in India and you can conclude that Rather than, you know, prohibiting them completely, India can follow a strong regulatory framework because gambling is still a state subject. That means there is no specific central law on the subject. The states make their own law. So, you will write all this and conclude your answer. I hope this session was insightful for you. If you have any feedback regarding this session, kindly drop it in the comment box below. If you like the today's discussion, Kindly like the video and subscribe to our channel for more such updates. Thank you.